I'm here to meet Evie Bikale. Hey, you must be Steve. Nice meeting you. Welcome to QI Tower. We're going to take a tour of the tower today. I'm sure you're excited to begin your journey on your day one as an independent representative of QNET. Let's get started. I'll take you for your first adventure with Natalia today. Come. Hi, Natalia. Hello, Evie Picale. This is Steve. And Steve, I'm going to leave you in the good hands of Natalia today. Hi, Steve. I was waiting for you and I can't wait to show you around. Evie Picale, thank you. Once we are done, I will call you. Have fun, you guys. Thank you. So Steve, this person I'm going to introduce you to is our Celebrity V Ambassador. He's been with us from the very beginning and has been instrumental in changing lives all over the world. He's also an avid uh, watch collector and therefore the perfect person to take you through the next adventure. I hope you are ready. There he is. Good morning, Vipi Sachi. Hey Natalia, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. By the way, this is Steve, our new QNET distributor. Hey, hi Steve, good to meet you. So, VP Sati, I see you've got a new watch. Yeah, decided to treat myself. It's a beautiful piece. That is the rose gold watch from Bernard H. Meyer's 150th anniversary collection. So how do you feel wearing a piece of history on your wrist? Oh, I'm really proud of it, Natalia. And I'm, it's my new favorite. And I love the way the rose gold comes out against the black face and the black strap. You know, but the most unique thing, Steve, is that the whole casing gives the watch a real modernized look, but also gives a retro feel. You know, something like me, modernized and retro. <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of it is the coin on the face of the watch. Oh yes, this coin is in honor of the Myers factory in Pforzheim, Germany, and it was established before World War II, and this gives a unique feature for the 150-year anniversary collection. It's what makes it already a special piece even more special. Did you know that the Bernard H. Meyer brand started with numismatic and engraving? And the coin on this watch is a tribute to that. Yes, it's amazing how far the brand has come since then. It has. It's one of the reasons why I love this watch so much. It combines a piece of history with modern and trendy features, telling a great story of the brand's incredible 150-year journey. You're right, and I really love the rose gold watch you're wearing with this team. But there is also stainless steel version, which has its own charm. Here, Steve, take a closer look at it. This story begins in 1871. Bernhard H. Meyer, a talented metal engraver and entrepreneur, founded the family enterprise by setting up his workshop in the small German town of Pforzheim a place that came to be renowned for jewellery and watchmaking. A testament to his talent in just a few years, the Maya name became synonymous with high-precision craftsmanship in precious metals. By the late 1800s, the reputation of the Maya brand and its high-quality craftsmanship had spread far and wide. They soon received their first contract to create commemorative medals for European royalty and nobility of the time. The new century proved fortuitous for the Meyer business. It was a time of great prosperity in Germany. Rudolf Meyer, Bernhard's son, took over the family business and expanded it to international markets. The Meyer name became truly international at the World's Fair in Paris in 1900 where they were awarded a silver medal for their creation of a medallion commemorating the new century. In 1936, the House of Meyer was chosen as the exclusive manufacturer of gold medals for the Summer and Winter Olympics in Germany. This is the year that Jesse Owens famously won four track and field gold medals. The winning streak for the Meyer brand continued into 1937, when the House of Meyer was awarded a gold medal at the World's Fair in Paris. 
This would be the last expo held in the city, in a final enactment of the ritual of peace and progress before the deluge of World War II. The war did not spare the Myers. Rudolf's sons, Bernhardt and Eberhardt, went away to serve in the army, and the bombardment of Fortsheim left the Meyer family's factories and workshops in ruins. But with the same persistence and dedication that led its founder to start the historic brand, the Meyer family went on to rebuild the business. In 1961, the Meyers were back in business, stronger and better. At the height of his success, founder Bernhard H. Meyer has developed a passion for engraving pocket watches, which were an important status symbol of the time. Little did he know that his hobby would one day lay the foundation for the modern Swiss timepieces from the house of Bernhard H. Meyer. In the 1980s, in a nod to its numismatic history and a tribute to its founder's passion, the first limited edition Bernhard H. Meyer coin watches and coin jewellery came out of the Meyer Atelier and proved to be an immediate hit. This was the beginning of a new era for the Bernhard H. Meyer brand. Since then, over 100 models of timepieces have been lovingly handcrafted by master craftsmen passionate about quality and perfection. By the mid-2000s, the new and improved Bernhard H. Meyer brand moved its base to Switzerland, the mecca of watchmaking, lauded for precision and pedigree. Seeing the creation of a watch from the design stages to the moment the watch starts working, to me, this is pure magic. Like the birth of a baby when it starts breathing and moving. A moment of passion. I am forever inspired by the idea of giving our customers a product that fills them with pride. An object that is so beautiful and perfect that it fills the heart of the owner with joy for many years thereafter. That is the Bernhard H. Meyer family spirit. Я хочу для своих детей быть хорошим примером, отцом, чемпионом, чтобы они гордились мною и были еще лучше на другой уровне жизни, чтобы были лучше, чем я. Еще главный момент играет роль, что вы должны быть пунктуальным человеком, человеком слова, обещали, сделали, пустых надежд, чтобы не давали. Потому что за вами идут очень много людей, очень много судьб и много людей, которые верят и мечтают, что они станут кем-то. И как Вышестоящий человек, вышестоящий оплайн, вы должны быть пунктуальным. Достижение цели никогда не прекращается. У нас всегда есть к чему стремиться, становиться лучшей версией себя. Я узнал о бренде Бернетич Майер, когда начал свой путь в 2009 году. Купил часы и ювелирные изделия, и за счет этого я построил свою сеть, сеть предпринимателей. Я очень благодарен Кюнету и нашим основателям, которые дали нам эту возможность. Мои любимые часы от компании Кюнет бренда Бернет Эчмайер – это скелетоны. Их было выпущено 50 штук во всем мире, 42 грамма из чистого золота состоят. Когда о них было объявлено, потому что я верил, что только люди, добившиеся высоких результатов, смогут владеть этими часами. Это именные часы, их 50 штук во всем мире и 26 у меня. Ценностью для меня вообще является сама жизнь и прожить так, как ту жизнь, которую мы заслужили быть примером для других, для растущего поколения. И самое главное – быть пунктуальным человеком. Обещал – сделал. И держишь всегда свое слово. И оставить хороший след следующему поколению, чтобы люди восхищались, следовали за нами, были лучше, чем мы.
В моей жизни одной из главных ценностей является семья. Ради моих близких я готова покорять любые вершины. Мне важно время, проведенное семьей, и самое главное – качество этого времени. Я по образованию врач, и для меня ценно помогать людям. В моем бизнесе я имею такую возможность – быть наставником и служить команде во имя их успеха. О бренде Бернард Эйч Майер я узнала в 2013 году, когда начинала заниматься бизнесом Кюнет. Мои первые часы Беллет представляют для меня особенную значимость не только потому, что они имеют неповторимый дизайн, потому что благодаря этим часам я получила готовый инструмент для ведения собственного бизнеса. Мой самый любимый набор ювелирных украшений – флер. Я с гордостью надеваю его на деловые встречи, он придает мне уверенность и помогает провести успешные переговоры. Я хочу пожелать каждому, кто выбрал путь к успеху, быть верным своим решением, верить в то, что вы достойны лучшего и никогда не сдаваться. Honesty and integrity play a very important role in building relationships, and I've always found that leading by example motivates people far better than just talking. People are inspired by our action, and that is what helped me build my network throughout all these years. My moment of pride is when I first joined the business 12 years ago. I remember when I first purchased a Bernard H. Meyer watch and started wearing it. It was such a great feeling. When you wear a Bernard H. Meyer watch, you can just feel the luxury and the quality of the craftsmanship. It gave me a lot of confidence talking to prospects about the business and the company while wearing a product from the company. I have all the watches and I guess you can say my favorite changes over time. My favorite right now is the Power Master First Rose Gold Watch. Honestly, I think everyone should be a product of the product and walk the talk. Personally, I absolutely love watches, so I wear them all the time and I talk about them. You become an ambassador for the product you are trying to sell. This is very, very important. There are some core values that I follow in my life and they are truth, honesty and loyalty. This is the three value system that I try to follow at all times. Truth means be being truthful to yourself, being truthful to the situations around you, being truthful for the goals in your life and being truthful to the hard work. It is very important for becoming anything and everything in your life, being loyal to myself my goals, my dreams, my people and my family. Whatever I have achieved in my life is because of these three things. Truth, honesty and loyalty. My moment of pride was the first time I shared my journey on week on stage. Because at that moment, I was representing not only my teammates, but I was also representing my grandfather. I was representing the values that my grandfather taught me. And he was saying only one thing, if you have taken a decision to do something, I'm 200% sure that you are in the right direction. I was representing the values of our business. I was there because of the faith and belief of our people, my teammates, standing on the stage, representing all those things. I was blessed and proud to be doing so. I have known about Bernard H. Meyer since the first day I signed up in the business. The first watch that I bought after signing up was Bernard H. Meyer Nauticus. I have been in love with this brand ever since. My favorite watch right now is the Rose Gold 150th anniversary watch. I requested it the very first day it was released. I even tried to get my favorite serial number for the one of those pieces. How does it represent my journey? I believe very strongly that Bernard H. Meyer is a superb representation of loyalty and honesty. Be truthful with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And be loyal to yourself. When you do this, your dreams, your goal, your people around you, everything will fall into place. Hi everyone, this year marks Bernard H. Meyer's 150th 
anniversary, and we want to commemorate it. 150 years of anything is a significant milestone. It brings with it a sense of pride when you talk about it. It shows that the brand has withstood the ages, adapting and growing to keep up with the times. The Bernard H. Meyer team is proud to be a part of this legacy, and now they want to hear from you. What is your moment of pride? Share it with us in three simple steps, and you could win yourself a Bernard H. Meyer 150th anniversary watch in rose gold. Step one, share a picture or video of yourself wearing your Bernard H. Meyer watch or jewelry. Step two, tell us all about your moment of pride in the caption using the hashtag MyBHMMoment. Step three, post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag the Bernard H. Meyer page. Make sure to set your profile to public so that we will be able to see your post. Do this before the 23rd of October, 2021, and don't forget to set your profile to public so that we can see your post. If you missed any of that, don't worry. All the details will be posted on the Bernard H. Meyer and QNet Facebook pages. So, like, follow the pages, join our contest, and show us your moment of pride. That was so inspiring. The first Bernard H. Meyer watch that I got was Le Classique Rose Diamond. I wear it proudly still today. Oh, that's a nice one. I also have the Le Classique Chronograph in my collection. Hey, since you're still here, Steve, why don't you check out the other watch brands that QNet offers? Yes, let's. Happy to show you around. This is Simier. The origin of this brand goes back nearly 100 years, all the way back to 1924. Simier is a 100% Swiss watch brand, known for producing the legendary Roscoff type pocket watches. Wow, Vipisati, you definitely know your watch history. I'm impressed. Of course, I love Swiss watches. Their quality is always top notch. And here we have one of my favorite Simier Swiss watch collections. They combine my love for football with my love of Swiss watches. Our latest QNET City collection. It was developed in partnership with Manchester City, the reigning Premier League champions. QNET is their exclusive direct selling sponsors, you know? I never miss a game. I'm extremely proud whenever I see the QNET logo flashing on the a boards during matches.
Manchester City and QNET partnership is truly legendary. As we say, built to last. Come on, Steve. By the way, did you know that QNET has developed an exclusive brand just for the India market? Here, check out the stylish timepieces from Kairos. We wanted to offer a high-end timepieces that capture the unique fashion trends of our customers in India. The watches are also produced locally. What piece is this? I love the black cutout dial with electric blue hands. It goes perfectly with the leather strap. Ah yes, this is the Kairos Blue Stone. It is one of the Kairos newest models. They are going to launch that and few other new pieces. Here, check this out. Be unstoppable. Unbeatable. Be unmatchable. Be the force. Tap into the gold mine of infinite opportunities. Set your goals high. Limits are imaginary things. Break them. Fly past them. Be now. Be happening. Inspiring. Be fearless. Be bold. Be a fashion icon. Push the boundaries. Strain your body. Be awesome. Above all, be yourself. Kairos, conquer your world. Those Kairos watches look really good. Now, Steve, let me show you another very interesting brand, which is available exclusively to our network in India. Have you heard of Napoleon Bonaparte? Of course. Who wouldn't know about this great historic emperor? Ah, did you know that QNET has brought one of Emperor Napoleon's favorite watch brands to India? Here, I present to you Mounier. It was originally founded by a French watchmaker called Etienne Mounier in 1786. He was appointed the official watchmaker to the king in the early 1800s and produced clocks and pocket watches for members of the royal court. Then, sometime in the mid-1800s, the Mounier business moved its base to Switzerland and joined the growing Swiss watch industry there. All the watch movements are Swiss-made, 
but the watches themselves are assembled in India, contributing to the Indian government's Make in India initiative. And now, QNET has brought this historic watch brand to India, exclusively for our network there. Check this out, Steve. Time is what you make of it when no one is watching or when the whole world is. For you, time is fire. The one that fuels your dreams. The one that keeps you restless. Reminding you that every second is a challenge. A win that's yours for the taking. So feel that fire, tick-tock. And go forth, tick-tock. Take over the world, tick-tock, tick-tock. One tick at a time. Because while most go with the flow, there are those who change time. Bonjour à tous, je suis très heureux de vous voir tous à V-Convention Connect et j'ai le plaisir de commencer cette session en vous présentant la marque Munier et surtout l'homme qui est derrière le magnifique design de la nouvelle collection de cette marque horlogère historique. Munier est une marque de montres suisse fondée en 1786 par l'horloger Étienne Munier en France qui a été nommé horloger de l'empereur des Français au début des années 1800 que l'on peut trouver sur le site officiel de Munier et dans le e-store de Cunet en Inde. Rodolphe Catin, designer horloger et fondateur de Rodolphe Design, un studio indépendant basé en Suisse, nous rejoint aujourd'hui. Rodolphe a une grande expérience de l'industrie horlogère de luxe et nous sommes très honorés de l'avoir avec nous pour parler de son expérience et surtout de la collection qu'il a conçu pour Munier. Bonjour Rodolphe. Bah déjà, c'est un plaisir de, de vous rencontrer à nouveau, Rodolphe. Bah, ce que je propose peut-être, c'est parlez-nous parlez un peu de, de vous et, et de votre travail en général. Oui. Mon travail, bah, c'est un travail créatif. C'est un travail euh, basé sur la créativité à la base, c'est-à-dire qu'on part sur des projets qui sont complètement euh, libres ou fixés par certains objectifs par rapport aux marques sur lesquelles on travaille. Euh, L'autre ébauche, c'est un travail qui se fait à la main. D'abord, des dessins à la main. Après, on passe facilement et rapidement à la partie ordinateur-computer. 3D, 2D, etc. pour après avoir des dessins finaux. Puis après, surtout, travailler avec grand plaisir avec les fournisseurs de haut niveau pour arriver à des produits de haute facture horlogère dans la finition, dans les proportions, dans l'ergonomie et dans le luxe. Pour revenir à, à Munier, cette, cette marque a été historiquement associée à la royauté française. D'après les documents historiques, nous avons découvert dans une salle des ventes que L'empereur Napoléon lui-même, Napoléon Bonaparte, était un fan de la, de la marque Munier. Euh, lorsque vous avez été chargé de concevoir euh, des montres pour une marque avec ce type euh, de, de, de pédigré, pour un public moderne, euh, quel a été votre processus de, de, de réflexion Bon, d'abord, pour commencer, c'était une grande fierté parce qu'il n'y a pas tous les jours des marques avec autant d'ancienneté et de niveau qui, qui viennent travailler vers nous. On a déjà eu des expériences de ce type-là, mais pas souvent. Là, c'est déjà une grande fierté, donc, comme je disais. Puis après, surtout, il faut savoir, en tant que designer, se plonger dans l'histoire, un petit peu revoir ce qui a été fait par le passé. Après, il faut trouver une identité, à, une nouvelle identité à cette marque par rapport au monde et dans l'heure actuelle dans laquelle on vit. Et ensuite, il y a un immense travail de fond par rapport au design, à la qualité. Mais aussi et surtout, il faut être accompagné par de très bons fournisseurs qui soient aussi au même niveau. On ne peut pas avoir un bon design et puis avoir un, un, une qualité médiocre. On est obligé d'être 
à tout niveau, euh, travailler avec des bons fournisseurs, que ce soit le fabricant de boîtes, de cadrans, etc. Mais la manufacture horlogère est très importante. Justement, comment transférez-vous votre inspiration dans le renouveau de la, de la marque Munier je suis obligé de me, de, de me concentrer sur la marque Munier en trouvant euh, de l'identification. Je suis obligé de trouver des chemins où euh, on a quelque chose de classique, où on a quelque chose de, 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 de fort, euh, mais pas trop présent non plus, mais très identifiable. Ça, c'est euh, une, une, une recherche qui est, qui, est, qui, est, qui est très importante avant de commencer les dessins. Et après, on affine ça sur les dessins. Justement, certains des dessins les plus beaux et les plus frappants de, de Munier proviennent de, de, de votre bureau. Avez-vous un favori ou surtout où avez-vous puisé votre inspiration Alors, j'ai un favori, j'ai un favori, pas que les deux autres ne soient pas fa favoris pour moi, mais celui qui ressort le plus avec le plus de caractère, c'est Invictus. Invictus pour l'homme ou Invictus pour la femme sont deux, 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 deux projets de deux, deux design qui sont bien structurés. J'ai voulu aller dans quelque chose d'assez construit, assez mécanique, avec des angles forts. Tout, tout le temps dans le but de ce que je dis dès le départ, c'est trouver cette identification. Pas que ça soit une montre anodine, mais une montre forte et surtout une montre qui soit dans le luxe, dans l'histoire de la marque. En tout cas, merci beaucoup, Rodolphe, pour, pour votre temps, pour votre vision, et votre expérience fascinante. C'était un, un énorme plaisir de, de vous écouter. J'espère que, que nous pourrons parler davantage d'horlogerie, de design de montres encore une autre fois et des prochaines fois. Les montres muniers sur lesquelles votre studio a travaillé sont absolument Incroyable, donc je tenais à vous remercier et à vous féliciter de, de l'excellent travail. Et j'ai hâte personnellement d'en porter une à mon poignet lors du prochain grand événement. Ok, merci Jérôme. En tout cas, c'était avec grand plaisir de vous recevoir, de parler un petit peu librement comme ça. Et, et je vous souhaite bonne chance pour la suite. Merci beaucoup. That's really impressive. I think QNet is the only direct selling company in the world that offers luxury watches to its customers. Yes, I think so too, Vipisati. And not just that, QNet is the only direct selling company that is a part of a conglomerate that owns several Swiss watch brands. It's truly incredible. There are so many options to suit everyone's suit needs and fancy. That video just reminded me, my sister-in-law's birthday is coming up. Thought I'd get her a nice gift. Can you show me Bernard H. Meyer's jewelry line? Of course. Bernard H. Meyer doesn't only specialize on watches. It also has some gorgeous jewelry pieces. The brand has always had a variety of classy and trendy gold and diamond pieces. They are always a favorite for those looking for simple yet eye-catching jewelry to accentuate their outfits. As you can see, we have a lot of options to choose from, something for every style and occasion, and more that will be launched soon, like new additions to the Pearl Icons collection. And it's your lucky day, because we have some of them on display here. And this here is our Timeless Tanzanite collection. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love the violet blue color of the gem. What do you call this gemstone again? Yes, that is the rare Tanzanite stone. It is considered an African treasure, and this collection was designed to showcase its stunning beauty. Unique and simple, it would be perfect for Zoom meetings. Yes, 
these gemstones would definitely stand out during video calls, sir. Ah, pearls are always good. Can't go wrong with them. Yes, they are a great gift for any occasion. There is some, just something about this. So simple, yet so elegant. What's more, our Bernard H. Meyer Pearl Icons collection features Akoya Pearls. Akoya Pearls? What are those? These pearls convey a uniquely feminine aspect of power that a woman can be soft and beautiful while exuding incredible strength. I love that. I would love to learn more about this if you have something on it. Of course, we have a video that features the Bernard H. Meyer Pearl Icons collection and the origin of Akoya Pearl. Enchanting. Elegant, sensual, words that perfectly describe the Bernard H. Mayer Pearl Icons Collection. With each piece featuring an Akoya Pearl, the Pearl Icons Collection showcases grace and beauty at its finest. There is no other gem or jewel in the world that exudes beauty as effortlessly as the Pearl. An image of perfection from the moment it is found. It requires no cutting or polishing to highlight its luster. It is one of nature's most enchanting creations. Long a symbol of grace, class, and power, pearls have been sought after for centuries by royalty, from queens to sultanas to tsarinas. And of all the pearls, there is none more coveted for its lustrous beauty than the Akoya Pearl. Perfectly round in shape, with a soft white shine, the Akoya Pearl is the classic white pearl, the one that every woman wants to have in her jewelry box. So we are uh, talking about uh, Japanese Akoya Pearls today. Uh, some of the most uh, valuable and most beautiful pearls in the world. So, uh, what are the quality criteria uh, for uh, Akoya pearls? Uh, how do we look at Akoya pearls? What makes them more valuable? What are the uh, criteria? We have basically five criteria. It's the coating, the luster, color, cleanliness and shape. Uh, for me as an expert and for most others, uh, luster and coating are the most important quality criteria. Because the luster, the shine of a pearl is the uh, expression of the pearl, it's the charisma of a pearl. It gives the magic to the pearl. This luster can only come out if you have a good coating. The more layers you have, the better is the light fraction within the layers and the better is the luster. The thicker the coating, the more long-lasting it is. Then we have the color. We always say the lighter the better because light colors are matching to all the skins. Then uh, the next criteria is the uh, cleanliness. It's similar to diamonds, the cleaner the more valuable it is. Uh, then we have the shape. The rarest shape is the round shape, so that's why it's most valuable. Pearls are timeless and versatile. One can almost never go wrong with them. The uniqueness of the pearl ensures that every woman is bound to find that one that matches her personality. When turned into a piece of jewelry, it can instantly boost a simple outfit and wrap its wearer in an aura of elegance while projecting a message. From a polite, soft-spoken personality to a bold and powerful one. Like Coco Chanel once said, a woman needs ropes and ropes of pearls. Pearls always adjust to the moment, to the age of the women uh, and to the style. No matter if you wear pearls with the jeans, it looks beautiful, it looks bawdy. Um, if you wear pearls uh, for the, with the evening dress, it looks elegant. And this is unique. I think uh, you would uh, easily uh, also recognize nowadays that the many, many young girls shift to pearl jewelry. Ear studs are their absolute uh, basic uh, matching with a pendant or with a cool uh, bracelet. And the pearl bracelet uh, you can also combine with the uh, gold bracelet or with your watch. Uh, mix and match, uh, layer look. 
I think it's, it's an absolutely great tool for all ages and uh, it was like uh, conquering the young generations in the last few years. With all that, it is easy to see why Bernard H. Mayer dedicated a collection to this illustrious gem. The pearl icon's versatility and ability to complement any style is unrivaled, heightening its wearer's beauty and grace on any occasion. Deep within Mount Kilimanjaro lies a treasure that formed millions of years ago, an exceedingly rare, precious blue gemstone that can be found nowhere else in the world. A thousand times rarer than diamonds, this stunning mystical stone is called Tanzanite, named after the beautiful country where it was discovered. Due to its uniqueness, the Tanzanite has its own color grading system with colors that range from translucent bluish violet to a deep earthy indigo or a striking violet blue, the gems are graded by the intensity of their color, with 4A being the darkest. Using the finest 4A grade tanzanite, the master craftsman at Bernard H. Meyer have designed simple yet elegant pieces for the modern woman. Each gemstone in the timeless Tanzanite jewelry collection is polished and hand-set by expert artisans to showcase the beauty of this extraordinary African treasure. The graceful curves of the 18-karat gold complement the single mesmerizing Tanzanite stone in each jewelry piece, bringing out their rich inner glow, drawing attention to its unique facets and violet-blue brilliance. With timeless circular motifs expressing the wholeness and perfection of the Tanzanite, Bernard H. Meyer presents to you its Timeless Tanzanite Collection. Oh wow, I don't know what to say. They're all amazing. How am I supposed to choose? Why don't you just get them all? Hey, if I do that, I'll be the best brother-in-law in the world. Hey, what's that? That's another jewelry brand called Lea but it is only available in Russia and some Central Asian countries. I love the stories that they build around each piece. It revolves around the theme of embracing your femininity while exploring the world. We have also another collection that is exclusive to India, called Kinari. It's quite new on the market, 
but it's become very popular in the short time it's been available. Here, I'll show you. She's a special woman. She's the wind. She's a perfectionist. She has ambition and drive. She gets what she wants. She always makes time for friends. She's a star. She walks like a queen. She dances like a dream. She's a special woman. She's Kanan. Kanari. The Royal Collection. Hmm. Leia and Kinari look really good as well. Yes, Kinat has a lot of options to choose from. I completely agree. You know what? I think I'm going to get her the Akoya necklace. Good choice. I'll set that aside for you. Thank you so much, Natalia, for your help today. You're welcome. Is there anything else you would like to see? Yeah, I think I'll keep on looking at some watches. No worries, please take your time. I'm just going to walk Steve out. I'm sure he's looking forward to continue his tour of QNET. Hey Steve, it was great meeting you, man. I hope you have a wonderful time and do really well in QNET. Let's go, Steve. Well, Steve, I hope you had a great time. ADP Kalai, he's all yours now. Thank you, Natalia. You're welcome, bye. Steve, you've seen some of our luxury timepieces and fine jewelry, jewelry products. Is there anything that caught your eyes in particular? I like this one. This is one of my favorite. It's the Mechanic Diamond. And I usually wear this on my casual day in QI Tower. And we're gonna go to the seventh floor now. something about fitness earlier you're gonna like what I'm gonna show you right now